Well, it's a beautiful January day. It's me out here all alone. Uh, we've had some pretty warm weather, uh, but it's been kind of windy and there's a swell on the ocean, so we're up in the backwater. Uh, trying to piece together a day, I have not backwater fished since I, oh, at least in over a month. So I'm kind of winging it. As soon as we find the right water, I'm sure we're going to catch a couple of fish. This outgoing tide is putting out 63 degree water, which is excellent <laughs> for January. See some fish on side scan right there. Guess they're right on that seam, devolving the mystery a little bit. What might be here? And definitely side scan just gave up a couple locations, potentially. Starting off with throat, small paddle tails. That is my confidence blower, a paddle tail. Wow, that's something good. You got like a pretty decent fish on here. I don't know what it is. It's a trout. Damn. Actually a decent trout. Actually, nice fish. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That for a speckled trout, huh? That is not a bad speckled trout. I think he's probably like 23 inch. -er. I'm happy with that. Gosh, I'm very happy to catch a trout of this this quality, especially this time of year. That's really cool. That is really cool. So we located that fish right up on that bank there. Let's give it another go, right? Let's see if he's got a cousin. Probably that might be a one and done kind of deal though. Might have to come back to that. Nope, just got one more. Not really into keeping specs too much. Oh, these are some pretty nice fish, man. They really are. Beautiful fish, actually. It's another real good fish, man. I got them wrapped up in our line here for a sec, but going with a solid, solid fish. And now we're just working the edge of an oyster bar, and I'm just kind of casting on the edge of it, just rolling this little uh, sea shad down it. It's in a quarter ounce. I don't have much current at all today, so. Right. Just like a flounder, actually, of all things. It could be a speckled trout, too. Really on the small profile, man. All right, here we go. It's a third keeper trout. Good fish, man. Most of these fish have been pretty good quality. Nice fish again, man. Pretty good, man. It's a nice day. It's a nice, some nice winter fishing here. Covering water, blasting along, trying to get a good bite going. Picking up fish here, picking up fish there. Along these oysters is, you know, a little bit of mud flat, more oysters, obviously. All right, so we're on, uh, what, like four or five trout. One fish was probably like 22, 23, biggest one of the batch. Um, they are on the move. Um, they're changing their ambush points as, tide, as the tide is uh, dumping out. 
So one minute they're stacked up behind one oyster bar, the tide kind of pushes the water out, and they just shuffle around, glad to be catching fish in mid-January. So uh, take, it, take it as I go. So I gotta locate a couple more fish again. I'm gonna go back to where I hooked those fish earlier, and I probably spooked them with the kayak because I ran, got a little too close to them. So maybe now that I'm gone, give them a couple minutes, maybe they're gonna regroup. Well, just move down a little bit. Slight change of location. Not much. Still along that bank. Uh, just slightly further down. So, uh, it took a second to locate. Let's see if that's another good fish. Could be. Ah, red. Ooh, puppy drum, bite hard, man. It's a one-year-old redfish. Next year, he'll be like 21, 22 inches. Cool. He was following it. Redfish. Munchkin. Little cutie beauty. Followed it back to the kayak. Lots of micro reds. Redfish, my guess. Could be a trout though. More young of the years. That's good, that's good. We're gonna have some good red fishing in a couple next couple of years, I bet. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that was a nice thump there. That's another red, isn't it? I'm guessing. It's gotta be. Oh, it's another trout. I love these fish. Sometimes they hit hard. That one was pissed. Gosh, that's actually a good fish, huh? Pretty nice trout, actually. That's another decent fish right there, huh? It's definitely like a couple oysters there. I can feel them when I'm hitting it. Ooh! I gotta wait for that boat to go by. So those reds and those trout are there together. I like literally caught one cast red, one cast trout. Here we go, another trout again. Man, they're getting bigger too, huh? Nice quality fish, man, really. I didn't bring my measuring tape with me. But we're looking at a... Uh... Yeah, man. <laughs> looking at some decent fish now. Fat, plump, it's a nice fish. Well, I'm about to wrap it up. Uh, that was a good day of uh, backwater fishing, uh, especially considering it's January. So what, what pushed me into the backwater? Well, obviously there was a long period of south winds, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, so that basically, you know, confines me to certain areas. Uh, I went with small stuff today. I threw some bigger stuff. I threw some metals. Uh, that stuff did not get a nudge. If you notice, the fish really weren't fighting a whole lot, a lot of rolling around on the surface. Now uh, the reds were kind of spunky and fired up, but uh, the trout were definitely, you know, there wasn't too much to what they were doing. Um, trout aren't generally fighters. It's more of a finesse game, but big trout will pull we know that so cut a bunch of fish uh yeah that's a quarter ounce bass assassin jig head and a four inch bass assassin uh i forgot the color i ended up going through the whole pack in green moon i rigged everything up today man i went with 15 pound tests uh 12 pound 10 10 to 12 pound braid i forgot it's suffix uh medium like a medium fast action rod for everything um but definitely that was good quality fishing man you can't complain about doing that uh, so Typically, typically the water this time of year is probably you know, you know lower 50, mid 50s. Um, we just had so much warm weather. I went to an area where I thought the water would have warmed up very quickly. Got one more day of warm weather, so I think I should take advantage of it. And then it looks like some cold weather 
and uh, some more heavy winds from the northeast. So listen to the LBO failure links in the video description, everything I used today. Uh, I fish primarily like uh, I'd say two to three feet of water, which is actually outside of my typical comfort zone. That's not my, my thing really. Quarter ounce jig heads and uh, just working it slow and keep it in contact with the bottom, pauses. Uh, I was very happy to see that that quality fish, the, the quality of the fish was excellent. So uh, let's get out of here and uh, yeah, catch up soon. I think I covered everything right about there. So hope you enjoyed.